calculations today, but a skill. Today we're joining Lewis structures. Lewis structures are just a way of allocating electrons and bonds. You've got a couple of rules to remember. One is to use up all the valence electrons you've been given, and the second is to make sure that every element has the right number of electrons around it. I've chosen three examples here. One very simple, one involving polyatomic, uh, a polyatomic ion and multiple bonds, and then another one involving several possible sets of multiple bonds. So different degrees of uh, difficulty. So let's look at them. First of all, HBr. We want to make sure that we count the number of valence electrons present in each atom. We look at the periodic table and we see where H is. It's in column 1, so it's got 1. Br, column 7, or 17, depending on what periodic table you're using. So that means 7. So we've got 1 plus 7 is 8 total electrons. So we're going to draw our H, and we're going to draw our Br, and we're going to just allocate those 8 electrons. We're going to put 2 in here to make the bond, and then we're going to put the other, four, other 6 in the place where they need to go, which is not on the hydrogen. Remember, hydrogen only gets two electrons. So that's two, four, six, eight. Done. Lewis structure now complete. Number two, nitrate. The NO3 ion. So we gotta count them up. N, we look, it's over in group five or group 15. So it's got five valence electrons. So that's a five plus, and then oxygen is in column six. So it's got six. Six times three is 18. So it's five plus 18, but We've got a negative sign, and that negative sign means an extra electron, so we can add in one more. 5 plus 18 plus 1 is 24. So we've got 24 total electrons to deal with. Now, whenever we have multiple atoms like this, we want to pick the single atom and put it in the center. So, I'm going to put that single N there, and we're going to put our O's around the outside. O, O, O. It doesn't really matter how you arrange them, as long as they're around the N. And now we're going to start adding our electrons. 2, 4, 6, those make the bonds, and now let's fill out the rest. 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. Ooh, except we don't have 26. We only have 24. So what do you do when you don't have enough? you got to share more. So I'm going to take these two electrons, and I'm going to put them on any one of these NO bonds and make it a double bond. That means I've got to erase one of these also to fix that, because I've got to have eight electrons around each atom. So let's double check to make sure that that worked. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. So we're good there. And do we have eight electrons around each atom? Yes. There's eight around the N, eight around the O, and eight around the O. So our nitrate structure has a double bond in it. One more thing we've got to do to make this complete, and that is a bracket and a negative charge. Because we've got to show that that negative charge is present. We just don't know where. Now the last one. SCN minus, the thiocyanate anion. Well, which one should we put in the middle? Always put carbon if you have a choice. So S, C, N. Let's count up our total electrons. S is in the same column as oxygen, so that's got six. Carbon's got four. Nitrogen's got five. And then one more for the extra electron negative charge. And so that's six and six is 12, and four is 16 total electrons. So let's start placing them. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Well, that doesn't work. So we've got to start doubling up. We're going to take them off the carbons. We're going to put a double bond here and a double bond here. Erase another one so we make sure we don't have 8. So what have we got now? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. That works. I've got 8 around my S, 8 around the C, 8 around the N. So I could draw this structure. SCN with a negative charge. But if you're creative, you can see that there's another one you can draw as well. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. The difference now is we have three pairs of electrons shared between the C and the N, and only one pair shared between the C and the S. So we've got a single and a triple bond present. That one works too. And if you're really creative, you'll see why put the triple bond there. Why not put the triple bond between the S and the C? And you could do that. And that would work also. The fact of the matter is, all three of these structures work, but one of them is better than the other. Why they're better? That's a question for another day. But there's your Lewis structure. 